Now that we've gone through the steps of creating a shared library, we want to understand how to push that library out to other users and also publish things into that library so that other users can access them. Let's jump in and get started. The first thing that we want to understand is how to push this library out to the other users. So up into the Macabacus section of the ribbon, here under settings, instead of going into library manager, we're going to go just below where it says share. Let's click here where it says share, and this dialog box is going to come up. As we can see, there are a lot of different things that we can share with other users. For example, we could have a common color palette or keyboard shortcuts that we could push out to those users. In this case, what we're going to do is make sure that we've checked on shared libraries. So all the changes we make to the library will get pushed out to other users. Now we go down to the left hand side and click publish now and we get this positive confirmation back that the shared settings have been updated. We can click OK and now click Close. What we may want to do now is a quick check. If we go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon over here where it says Library and we click All Content, we may think that we're going to see a shared library, but in fact, we're only seeing our personal library. This is simply because we haven't yet published anything to the shared library. Let's close out of this library pane and go through the steps to publish to the library so that we can see it in action. In order to publish to the library, we can go back up the Cabacus section of the ribbon. Here under settings, we're going to go into the library manager once again. This time, the library has already been created. Now our motivation is publishing up to the library. So we're going to click right here to expand the shared library. Probably the easiest place to start would be on some images. So if we click on here, images, what we're going to do is click to make a new group. We'll call this logos and say, OK. We get a confirmation that we've created the group for logos. And now we're going to go ahead and upload a logo into that group. Now we can see here under images, this new group called logos has been created. We're going to click on that new group and we want to go down here and click here to publish to that group. This dialog box comes up. We have a choice. We can either direct Macabacus to a folder, in which case Macabacus will pull all images from that folder into our library, or we can do an individual file. In this case, let's look at the individual file option. So let's go down here and click on the button for files. And right away, it's gone to a folder where we know that there's a file, in particular, a logo that we want to use. Let's double click on this logo and it brings the file path right here into the dialog box. We can now click here to publish. We get a positive confirmation that that content's been added to the library. Let's click OK here. And also we can go down here and click close on this dialog box. Now what we want to do is perform a check again. We want to go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon right here under library. Let's click all content. And what we see now is our shared test library is coming up. Now that there's some material in it, we can click here under logos. And this is where we can see the Macabacus by CFI logo. Now there's one very important step remaining. We know where the correct path is to this particular logo, but we need to publish that definition out to the other users. So this is where we can go up into the Macabacus section of the ribbon here under settings, what we want to do now is go down to share. Make sure that shared libraries are checked on as they were from before. Now we're going to click publish now. We get a positive confirmation back. The shared settings have been updated. We can click OK. And now we can close out knowing that these definitions have now been pushed out to all the other users. So what we've now successfully done is set up this shared test library. We've uploaded a logo to that library, and then we've made sure to go up here into share and make sure that shared libraries is checked and then hit the publish now button, which has pushed out these definitions and locations to all the other users. They're now going to be able to access the library and all of the materials that are published in the library. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon in the next video.